hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl trish i went shopping again yes because that's what i do best <laughs> I picked up a whole bunch of makeup and skincare and body care products and I would love to share it with you guys if it's your first time here do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see me do next if you want to see what I got then please keep on watching so the first thing we picked up is this lotion from soap and glory it is their drop in lotion it smells so good it is scented in coconut and I am looking forward to trying this out because everyone loves soap and glory's lotion so i decided to pick this one up just so i can try it out of course i love their uh body cream and so i had to grab another one <laughs> and this is the um a cream come true this like i like the righteous butter which is their popular one that everyone loves but this to me smells so much better in case you can't tell, yes, I buy these just for the scent and because they're super moisturizing too. Don't forget that because that's very important. But yeah, it smells amazing. This is what the product looks like, and looks like inside the jar. These were $18 a jar. I know this one was $18. I don't remember exactly how much the lotion was. But yeah, I got those. I also picked up two of the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. And these are in the shade 007 Amber and 004 Silk. They're both nudes, but one's more on the mauve side. And the other one's more of an, um, an orangey tone. But yeah, I'm looking forward to trying these out because everyone's been raving about these. So definitely got to try those out maybe in my next video. I also picked up another Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Balm and this is in the color 130. It is scented in Dragon Fruit and Peach. You know I love these so now I have at least three to four backup tubes. <laughs> so super happy I found that in a different scent so I can try it out. I also picked up this uh, Pixi cleanser and this one has salicylic acid and probiotics. My skin is super sensitive and I also have dry skin. So I have to be careful with everything I use on my skin because it'll either break me out or dry me out more. So I am hoping that these will work great with my skin. I just finished my um, The Ordinary uh, Toner and it was uh, glycolic acid too and that worked well for my skin. So I'm hoping this is kind of like the same thing and I won't have any issues with it. But I'll let you guys know uh, how it goes. I grabbed this uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and it is in the shade 60 Cocoa. So whenever I do my makeup again, I am gonna try that out and see and see if I can practice and get into this cream contour because I've never done it, <laughs> I have no idea how it's gonna look hope it's not too muddy but I am definitely gonna try that out I'm running out of my uh, kiss strip lash adhesive and so I also grabbed a duo lash glue and this is in the dark shade yeah just lash glue nothing special about that um, I had to grab another one of my Maybelline Fit Me powder and this is in the shade 355 coconut because I was um, I am running out of the one I'm currently using so I grabbed another one of that. I picked up this Nivea cream because Aaliyah G have been raving about how good it is for uh, dry skin. And like I've said countless times, I do have dry skin. So I have to keep my skin moisturized. And because I use so many um, exfoliants on my skin it leaves my skin even more dry than it originally is so i picked this up so i can so i can test it out and see how it works i know the nivea lotions are super moisturizing so i'm hoping this will uh just not break me out because like that's my biggest thing like i have sensitive skin and dry skin so things tend to break me out pretty easy so I'm just hoping that that won't do that I've been wanting a liquid liner and I found this one it is the wet and wild it's waterproof though like I'd rather not have a waterproof liner 
but either way i'll still try it and see how it is i've just been wanting a liquid liner that's not like a felt tip so i grabbed this one and i believe it was only like three dollars but yeah i'm gonna try that out and see if i like it i <laughs> i need to stop because i've been buying these way too often like these essence gloss and the milani fruit fetish lip balm i keep buying these and i don't need more you don't need more you have 500 <laughs> stop buying them i have to <laughs> i have to stop but i see them and i'm like oh i'm gonna run out so i have to get them i have enough to last me for a few years so yeah okay so in my last haul i was telling you guys about this moisturizer that i picked up from this korean skincare brand called okay and this moisturizer is so freaking good like i can't believe i didn't find this a long time ago because it has been doing so good for my skin it keeps my skin moisturized throughout the day and i love it and i went back to uh, the drugstore and I saw that the same brand they have a few other things so of course I picked up everything else they had in that line they had a firming eye cream um, an antioxidant serum and they also had an illuminating serum so I am definitely gonna try these out as well with the moisturizer and see how these work with my skin but anyways that's everything you guys i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see me do next and do me a favor and hit that thumbs up and subscribe button i'll see you in the next video bye